Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online trading, all, trading and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the, the S&P 500 and as you can see, we did rally today up towards the 4,186 and then gave most of those gains back. We are still holding on to the middle of the bullish band here. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. We have the MACD that is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is turning around here and the RSI is flat. So if the middle of the bullish band breaks, then we have the 20 exponential right underneath here, then the bottom of the bullish band at the 4,100 give or take and the 50 moving average down here at the at 4,090. So we could drop significantly, but at this point, the middle of the bullish band is, is holding to the upside. Most likely, long-term target here will be 4,250. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has rallied up towards the top of the bullish band, and we are finding quite a lot of resistance here. But comparing to the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, this is uh, rallying significantly more than those indices. If you look at technical indicators, uh, we can see that MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and uh, RSI is bullish as well. So we have been grinding slowly up towards the $35,000 uh, $35, level, which most likely will be our long-term target here. Pullbacks towards the middle of the plunge band have been major support levels, and um, Yes, break below that, we can drop towards the bottom of the bullish band at 33,564. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ it did rally today and then gave most of those, or basically all of those gains back. So we did rally up towards 13,670 and then just, uh, well, collapse. And now we have a really uh, negative candlestick here. But we're still trading above the 50 moving average. And uh, as long as that is the case, um, this should be major uh, support as this was also an area of significant resistance in the past. This is also where we broke out. So this will probably be the bottom. But if this break, then we can drop towards 13,000 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. And after that, a massive drop to the downside. But we are not even close to that yet. We haven't been actually close to the 200 moving average since basically last year. So, so at this point, 50 moving average will be uh, the center of focus. And uh, if uh, we rally from there, then we most likely find resistance at the 20 exponential moving average, which is at 13,732 at this point. Break above that, then we could go back to 30, 40, uh, 14,000. So technical indicators are looking fairly bearish. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is very bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Uh, 33, 34, and really low at this current stage. So let's look at the German DAX. So the German DAX, uh, DAX fell significantly yesterday, all the way down to the 50 moving average, and then just rallied today significantly. We're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. It's up uh, roughly 1.8%, 80% at this current stage. Technical indicators are not all bullish. We can see that uh, MACD is still bearish at this point. The stochastic is bullish and the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bullish. So we have to basically close above the 20 exponential in order to conclude that we are going back towards um, 15,500 or 16,000. 50 moving average here has offered massive support. So UK 100 or FTSE, as you can see, we have rallied and significantly today. We're also up 1.70%. We did fall towards support yesterday at the 20 exponential and then rally today. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that they're all bullish. Even the MACD is crossing the signal line here, indicating bullish momentum. But we are running into major resistance here at the 7,035. If this breaks, then we are most likely heading towards a longer target here at 7,250. So break it down from here. 
most likely to find major support at the 20 exponential. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 has a rally today and gave most of those gains back. We're still trading above the middle of the Bollinger Band. We did break down 20 exponential, but gave most of, uh, all of those gains back. So if we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is, bear, is bullish still in bearish territory. The stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bullish, just above zero, and the RSI is flat at 47 at this point. So if we drop from here, we'll most likely find major support at the 200 moving average at 16,832. And rallies from here will most likely find major resistance at the, the 50 moving average at 17,359. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.